Okay, hey everyone. <laughs> so today we're not using any props and we're starting laying down on the back. <clears throat> and you just place your feet hip distance apart. Find a neutral position and just rest your arms on the sides. You can close your eyes for a moment and feel your body. How do you feel today? Feel your shoulders. Are they lifted? Is only one shoulder lifted? Both shoulders. Don't try to change anything yet. Just observe your body. Feel your feet on the ground, your pelvis. How much of space is underneath your lower back? How much of space underneath your neck? In what position is your head? Just be aware. And take a deep inhale from the nose. And deep long exhale, relax completely your chest as you breathe out. Again, deep long breath in. Expand your belly, your chest, your upper body. And as you exhale, soften everything. more times just relax breathing with each exhalation try to relax your shoulders more your mouth your eyes and then we'll start moving the pelvis just small rocking movement forward and backward so as you exhale you press gently the lower back into the mat you roll the pelvis towards you and as you inhale you release don't force anything Super easy movement, exhale again towards you, inhale away. Try to see if you can keep the contact of your ribs with the mat all the time while you rock your pelvis forward and backward. Hello Birgit, today no props. So we are laying down on the back and just rocking the pelvis forward and backward. And now we start moving them a little bit further. So you roll the pelvis and you lift the tailbone off the ground. So it's just the beginning of the bridge. And then release directly. Inhale. Small movement. Again, you roll the pelvis towards you. Lift the tailbone, sending it underneath your knee, so you stretch the lower back, and then relax, inhale. Connect with your breath, again, imagine your chest is melting, as if the sun is shining on your chest. Hello, Maria. <laughs> I, I have a ball, I've managed to find a ball, just in case. So. Oh, okay, now we decided to do without any ball today. Unless everybody wants to train with a bow, but I don't have it close to me, so we stay without the bow. Okay, so we start moving a little bit further. You tilt the pelvis, you lift the tailbone, and you lift all the way your lower back. The ribs are still on the mat. And then roll the way down and relax. Inhale, exhale, roll the pelvis, lift the tailbone. Stretch your lower back, try to push a little bit down the ribs as you lift your pelvis and reach with your knees forward. You should feel some tension on the upper legs. And relax. Two more times. Really concentrating on finding length in the lower back. Finding alignment, the legs are parallel to each other, we feel both feet. And now we go all the way up in our full bridge, inhale. Exhale, roll one vertebra at a time. Try to feel each single bone on the way up, leaving the floor. Hold it to take a deep, nice inhale. And as you exhale, melt down the chest. And again, try to feel each single vertebra going one after another back on the mat until you relax completely. 
We repeat two more times. You can go super slow motion. The rest of your body is completely relaxed. There is no weight on your neck. The weight is only between the shoulder blades. So you can really have this image of melting in your chest, the sun shining in your chest. Letting go of your weight. And one more time, we're going to stay up, roll yourself up, not too high. And then from here, twist the pelvis. The right side is lower, the left side is higher. We roll down on the right side of the spine. Hold the pelvis twisted and we roll directly back up. Exhale, roll yourself up. Center the pelvis and twist in the other direction. Left side is lower, right side is higher. You still center, you have your center axis in which your spine stays and moves. Staying twisted in the pelvis and rolling directly back up. And then you can go in your own pace. We do three, four repetitions on each side. You can go a little bit faster or super slow, see what feels good for you. See that the knees don't go too much side to side. Relax arms. The face is pointing up to the ceiling. Good. Everybody is doing a great job holding the knees stable. This is our goal. Okay, one more time to each side. Keep moving in your own tempo, trying to feel again each vertebra here on the side is a little bit difficult, but we we'll still give our best. And if you have finished your last repetition, go up, center your pelvis and roll down in the center and hug your knees to your chest. Now take your time for your last repetition. And then everybody, when you have your knees, you can go side to side. I think somebody's microphone is switched on, but I didn't see which one is it. Okay, all right. So we keep the hands on the knees and we start doing some circles. So you pull the knees all the way to the chest, open the knees and circle them around. Towards you and around. Very easy to lubricate the hip joints before we move them. And opposite direction, both knees together away from you, apart and towards you. Big circle, so you can move the whole pelvis, but it's more about the hip joints. Okay. We keep the right knee in and stretch the left leg out. Really pull the left leg long. Stay here just one moment, then pull the right knee across towards the left side and you can open your right arm to the side. So stay here for a moment, take two deep breaths. With each exhalation, try to lower the knee closer to the floor or to twist further. One more breath. And come back to center, switch legs. Left knee in, right leg really long, opening the right hip, breathing, relaxing the face, the chest, and then pull the knee across, over to the right side, again two conscious deep breaths, through the nose, deep breath in, as you breathe out, try to twist further, as if you are Taking the water out, so wrinkling um, a wet cloth. 
and come back to center. Both feet on the ground. We lift our arms up to the ceiling. We lift both shoulders up, reach for the ceiling and both shoulders down. Only three times. Inhale, both shoulders up, both shoulders down. Keep the neck relaxed. You can pull the chin a little bit more to the chest. Inhale up, exhale down. And now we lift only the right shoulder and the left knee at the same time up. And lower the foot and the shoulder down. Left shoulder, right knee. And down. Try to not turn your head side to side. You're looking straight up. Good. Always opposite shoulder and knee. And the middle of your back is really heavy. Good. One more time on each side. Very nice. Nobody's turning the head. Shoulders are perfectly aligned with the arms. And then we keep one leg up in the tabletop position. Lift the other one next to it. Both shoulders are down this time. We are going to keep the feet together and open the knees. And close. So the legs are in 90 degree angle. If it's hard for your core to hold, you can bring the knees just a little bit towards you. And then we open the knees and close. Keep together. Yes. The second move is going to be with the arms, but it's going to be in reverse. You open the knees, keep the arms up. Close the knees, open the arms, all the way to the side. Lift the arms just over the shoulders, open the knees, and reverse. All the time, your rib cage heavy, very important, protect your lower back, and breathe. You can exhale when you open the knees, and inhale when you close them. Show you from a different angle to see that we are keeping the arms just over the shoulders, so don't bring them closer together. Our belly is flat, very nice. One last time. And then we finish with our arms up, the knees open. We bring at the same time. So first of all, press the lower back down. Push it really into the floor. And at the same time, we lower both legs forward, bent legs, and the arms backwards. But you don't have to touch the floor, you just go like... Um, like a V, the letter V more or less, and then lift again, both. So we can do it with the exhalation. Exhale and open. Inhale, lift. All the time, lower back pressed on the mat. You're not letting it lift. If it lifts, don't open too much this shape. Or really activate more your core. Now we can try to reverse the breathing, but I want you to keep the belly flat. So pull the belly in, exhale, and as you inhale, you open the legs and the arms, keeping the belly flat, and exhale to lift. Inhale to lower, and exhale to lift. So, Kati can stay with the head down, and the rest of you, you can lift the head, neck and chest up, and we do five more in this chest lift position. 
So you inhale, bringing legs and arms away from each other and exhale together. Again, keeping your lower back really pressed on the mat. Good, one last time. Hello, Francois. And then you hug, lower the head down and hug your knees to the chest. Hi, Francois, you can do two times the bridge to just warm up the spine. And we're just hugging the knees, going side to side, and in a circle with both knees in the same direction, in one, and then in the other. Okay. We lower the feet again on the ground. Not too far, not too close to you. We're going in the bridge and we will go one leg. So make sure you're going to be stable and centered. Arms by your sides. Inhale as you exhale. Tilt your pelvis and roll yourself all the way into your bridge. Relax the chest and lift the pelvis higher. Have this feeling of rolling the pelvis towards you and then from here push more with the right foot and lift the left knee up and we will do leg arcs lower that leg down tap the floor and lift inhale exhale lower inhale lift we're not shifting we're not twisting the pelvis is super centered ribs and rib cage relax try to push them down and keep lifting the pelvis we have just one more, but we're holding it up, hold the leg up, and we're rolling down one leg, one vertebra at a time, you stay centered in your spine, no twisting in the pelvis, keep the leg lifted, relax for a moment the pelvis, and we roll up again, we repeat three times on that leg, exhale, we roll up, you can check that your pelvis is in one level, and send the left side a little bit further away from you and exhale, roll down make sure your standing leg is well aligned roll yourself one more time very good, sending that standing knee over the foot reaching, stretching the spine, yes, good and rolling back down and then lower the foot down both feet are on the ground we're centered, we roll directly for the second round. We go up into our bridge, find the perfect position. Again, ribs are not flaring, so we try to lower the ribs and lift the pelvis. So it's your glutes working here. Chest is relaxed. Okay, other leg up. And we do our arcs. Tap and lift. Inhale. Exhale to tap. Inhale to lift. Everything else stays in the same shape. Keep lifting that pelvis and relaxing the chest. Very good alignment of your legs, everybody. Good, we have one more. And we lift the leg, we keep it lifted, and we roll the spine three times up and down. Roll all the way down. Try again to feel each single bone on the way up and on the way down and notice if, you, if your pelvis wants to twist in any direction or to, or to pull towards the ribs when you roll down try to feel both sides of the pelvis landing at the same time and up and after your third repetition you stay down lower your foot down and stretch both legs and shake them shake the legs good we're taking the arms up to the ceiling shoulders away from the ears already ribs down and pelvis slightly tilted as much as you can inhale as you exhale head neck and chest up inhale Lift your left leg, exhale, lower it down, inhale, lift the other leg, 
lower it down and we roll down with the arms pointing the ceiling if you have any neck pain feel free to support the head with one or both hands exhale we roll up looking straight forward try to relax the chest here and roll a little bit higher inhale flat belly we're breathing in the sides of the ribcage exhale the other leg and we roll down arms over to the ceiling we add one small move we're lifting both shoulders up both shoulders down and then we roll up and taking one leg up try to hold the leg as straight as you can it doesn't matter how close it comes but the leg is straight the knee is straight and Let's do a few more. Each time when you go down, you have small lift and lowering of the shoulders. So when you roll down and the arms are pointing up, then you lift the shoulders, lower the shoulders to really have your awareness about where they are in space. We want to keep them super wide and well attached to your spine. Good. Everybody, when you lift into the chest lift, can you try to relax a little bit more your chest and this is going to make you roll a little bit more. Yes. Good. That's the last one. And then roll yourself down. We hug the knees one more time to the chest. Go side to side. And we take the feet on the ground with bent legs. Arms overhead. Inhale. As you exhale, lift arms, head, neck and chest up, take your hands on your legs and pull yourself as you stretch the legs out to, to sitting. Here we keep the arms parallel to the floor, Francois you can sit a little bit higher and Yvonne you can bend slightly your knees to really stretch the spine, good, relaxed shoulders, and we're rolling forward, so chin to the chest and the crown of the head is leading the movement, and we go as far forward as we can, but at the same time imagine somebody pulls your waistline back, so you should feel like a stretch on your back chain, on your spine, and roll yourself back up we are stacking the spine on an imaginary wall so you want to be super straight in the spine Birgit, as we can bend a little bit the legs just a little bit and then stretch more the spine and then we are rolling forward and rolling back up yes, so starting from the chin everybody chin a little bit to the chest and then the crown of the head is leading the movement, very good your ears stay over the arms so cut not too deep with the arms a little bit higher with the head so the back of the neck is going to be as well active in this position if this is too much for your neck you can relax the arms so for everybody you can do the same if you have tense shoulders or neck you can relax the arms and just move the spine up to you. <clears throat> Let's do two more. And then from here you stay sitting. Stretch your spine as much as you can. Really sit on top of your sitting bones. If you need to bend the knees, we're opening 
the right arm, it doesn't matter which arm, one arm to the side and you follow your thumb with your gaze and you try to open as far back as you can without moving the spine in any direction. So you're just twisting here and come back forward. The other arm leading the movement and forward. All the time stretching the spine long. Francois, pull yourself more, 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 more. Bend your legs more. Yes, good. You hold weight slightly backwards, Francois. A little, just a little bit, not too much. Just a little bit. Yes, there. Good, and you keep breathing. Very nice shape of the shoulders and the spine. Imagine everybody, somebody pulls your head up to the sky. Really up, up, up. Okay, last one. And then from here, we take both arms, so they are parallel to each other, both arms on the side slightly, I'm sure from that angle. So we're rolling both sides on the both arms on the right side, we're rolling on the left side of the spine, halfway down. You can bend your knees if you need to, and then we roll up, stretch the spine as much as you can, then take the arms to the other side and repeat. up first find that lift relax the shoulders and move so you can do a fluid movement exhaling when you go up i would say but just let your breath flow and the belly pulled in that's your goal doesn't matter how you breathe just breathe good Leaks are awakened, we stretched a lot the lower back already before, the shoulders are well aligned. One more time to each side. And we will roll in the center all the way down, inhale, exhale, tilt your pelvis, find that nice C curve as well, the neck, and roll all the way down. Keeping the ribs in contact with the mat, arms overhead, and we're rolling up again. So arms up, pull the belly in, inhale, head, neck and chest up, as you exhale, push down with the heels, if you need to bend the knees, if no, keep the legs straight, and we're going all the way over the legs like before, stretching the spine. Here we add our move from before, opening one arm to the side, center to the other side, center, both arms over to the right side, we roll halfway down, up and to the other side, halfway down, up and center and rolling in the center all the way back down. And that's our small sequence that we try to do five or six times. You can go on your own timing. So you have first the roll up. So regression for the roll up would be to do assisted roll up. You can do it as well with one leg. One leg each time you change the leg. So this would be the regression. If you want to have a progression, to have it harder, when you roll up, you try to keep your arms close to your ears. Which is a little bit harder. So always find your level where you feel challenged enough, but it's not too much. So you can still do it, but you have to push yourself a little bit. And shoulders, 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 relax everybody. Good. 
and you can always use the heels you push down the heels and this is activating as well automatic your pelvic floor when you're opening the arm dirty try to stretch more your spine bend here the legs a little bit and try really think of head lifting up like really lifting up yes even more even more okay and this should be our last one it doesn't matter how many you did I think it's already around five or six and we roll all the way down on the back and relax the arms by the sides we bend the legs and lift the right leg up and flex and point the foot the pelvis is square so make sure you're in the neutral spine position you can as well push a little bit down the lower back so we're slightly imprinted and we flex the foot and we lower the leg down as far as you can hold the lower back stable point the foot and we lift with straight knee as far as you can flex and lower exhale in your lift okay that's just the preparation we are going to be doing this in the bridge so we lift the leg stability arms down exhale we roll up into our bridge flex the foot and we lower let's go down and up exhale inhale breath out breath in we're stable the pelvis is still up i know it's burning last one down and up we hold the leg up and we roll the spine all the way down and release shake or uh, bring both legs side to side both knees okay we lift the other leg up the pelvis is still centered and square and we flex and point flex and point so we give our best doesn't matter where the leg is maybe it's more to the front but just try to keep it straight and then we flex it and lower all the way down or as far as you can stabilize and lift here this is easy so flex down point up yes and ready we lift the leg hold it up even if it's slightly bent roll all the way up find your bridge look that your pelvis is centered and then let's go flex down point up don't go lower than your standing knee Actually lift your pelvis a little bit higher and you won't <laughs> good <laughs> one more keep breathing don't forget the movement of the foot last one we keep the leg up and we roll the spine one vertebra the time down and one more time lower the feet down this time the feet are wider so they are as wide as the mat and then you can go side to side again okay we're going overhead and we'll do the boomerang so we already prepared the spine uh kati you can uh, you can do the sitting spine stretch forward what we did before you can do a few more of this 
And when we do with the rotation, you will have your hands behind the head and just slightly twist and, and roll forward and then to the other side. So it's gonna look something like this. And the rest of us, we're going overhead. Make sure you have space. So, lifting one leg at a time up in the tabletop position. From there you stretch them as much as you can. Belly pulled in with active core we go up and up. So let's do a preparation here. We will hold the lower back push down and we lower the legs a little bit to the right side. Center to the left side. Center, again to the right side, center to the left side, both shoulders stay down. Now we lower the legs to the right side and circle them down, around and up on the left side. Come back to center. Now we start from the left side. So you lower the legs to the left, go down, around and up, holding your lower back as close to the floor as possible, so you can protect it. So this is going to be the end of the movement, and it's very similar what we're doing. So let's do it a little bit bigger, a small progression. So you lower the legs just a little bit towards you, only the pelvis is lifted, and then we lower the legs to the right side, down, around and up on the left side so the pelvis is slightly lifted center and to the left side down around and up you can do only this version if you feel like it's already um, activating the obliques and working on the lower back or we go full version we go up and overhead make sure there is no weight on the neck and then from here, legs are parallel to the floor. You send your sitting bones up. So we bring the legs slightly over to the left shoulder and we are going to roll on the left side of the spine down. I'm doing it slow motion. Here we have our movement from before, down, around and up. And we go all the way up over our right shoulder and back to center. And then we start in the opposite direction, to the right side. Try to control it, not taking too much momentum. All the time relaxing the chest, there is no weight on the neck. Once you have enough, you can roll down in the center. Let's try to do at least three on each side. Now we have prepared already the spine and we have done similar movements but here you're using your own body weight to really make space between the vertebras. Good. Good, good, good. And this as well, massaging the spine. Okay, let's do one last on each side or finish your last repetition and just center your legs. So you're in the center and then you roll and the center down one vertebra at a time, slowly, slowly, slowly to feel the whole spine. And then you bend your knees, hug them to your chest and relax. You can go side to side or rock. Okay. Lower the feet down and we're just going to turn around on the belly. Take your hands underneath your shoulders with the elbows close to the body, preparing for the swan. You can see here. <coughs> 
as always, pelvis pushing into the mat, and then you peel yourself off the mat. You can pull the belly in, ribs in, rolling all the way up, not hanging, really lifting. So, see the difference? Here I'm hanging, and here I'm lifting. So, not hanging, really lift, yes. Good. And then bending the elbows and rolling all the way down. You can do five in your own tempo again. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Or you can always exhale on the movement and inhale to hold. It's up to you. Looking straight forward when you're going up. Francois, you can take your hands a little bit more back, so under, so elbows more back, yes, there. And when you lift, good, yes, the shoulders are much better, and now you can pull the belly a little bit more in. Good, and Birgit corrected the head, nice. One more time, and we're going to stay up and roll yourself up. Now everybody really pull the belly in, so I don't want anybody to have lower back loose. We're frozen in that position, activate even your toes, and we're letting go for just one moment and we're going to rock, so you rock and push yourself back up. So you're like a boat, frozen in that position, inhale, exhale, let go of your hands for a moment, inhale directly up, really pulling the belly in and activating everything until the tips of your toes, just one more time, and then from here bend to your hips, stay up with your pelvis and go lower with your arms and try to lower your rib cage to the floor to stretch here take a deep breath in and out and lift again your arms we take one arm pull it underneath the other until you Feel a stretch on your shoulder, so you're gonna lower that shoulder down. I'll show you from this angle, sorry. So you don't want to you don't want to go too far to the side or to the other side. So you're in your center axis and here you twist with the other hand, you can push and twist even a little bit more. Send your hips in the opposite direction. So if you are turning to the right side, push your hips to the left. And stay there for a You already feel the whole twist in your spine. Just breathe. Very good shape, everybody. One more deep breath. And then use your standing hand push yourself up, we do one more time that stretch from before, lowering the chest as much as you can, pushing with the hands into the floor, try to not lower the elbows, but just push with the hands, and lift up, go a little bit closer with your arms, and take the other arm underneath, until you have your shoulder down, and here again, with the hand that's pushing, you can twist further, sending the pelvis in the opposite direction. Breathe, relax the face. Good. And push again with that hand. We go on to all fours. 
hands underneath the shoulders, neutral spine, uh, cut your knees a little bit more forward, and Francois to just a little bit. Okay. From here, we lift the left arm forward, circle it all the way to your hips, and lower it down. The other arm forward, circle around, and down. Easy. We're stabilizing the spine and just moving as if we're swimming here. There is no twist in the spine. Yvonne, you can look down, so chin a little bit more to the chest. Yes. One more time each side. And then both hands stay down. Without shifting the pelvis anywhere, we slide one leg back. The foot is still on the ground. Pull the belly in and lift the leg. So we build one straight line. Here, we open it to the side. And back. To the side. And back. Yes. Try to keep lifting it and lift at the same time your stomach and the back of the neck. Everything is active. We go to the side and then we cross the middle line of the body. So over the other leg, tap the floor and lift and go all the way. So let me show you from this angle. Before we're just balancing, stabilizing here, opening the leg to the side, and now, so I have no space. Now you open, you cross, tap the floor, and go all the way up and to the side. So here the pelvis is twisted a little bit, it's not working any other way. So we go across and big half circle and to the side. Yes, two more. And after your last one, stretch your leg back. And here, we bend the standing knee and reach back with that foot and forward. And back and forward, like you're sliding here. The leg is up. Leg is up, Yvonne. Same leg is up. Sorry, it's exactly in the same line as that yellow decoration here. My leg. And then you bend your knee and sit back on your heels for a moment. You can bring the back of your hands on the floor, like bending them just to stretch like and then we go directly for the other leg find quickly your neutral spine position then we're done with being on the hands so really push with the whole palm of your hands if you have too much pain you can roll the mat and place your hands a little bit higher, or you can use even the spine feeder to be a little bit higher. Alright, other leg, we slide it straight back, stretch it, and then lift it, so nothing changed. My core is engaged, everything is long, and now here we just open to the side, and back. Without changing anything in the spine or in the pelvis, so here my goal is to stabilize, working on the glutes, there is no side flexion in the lower back. Imagine there is a balloon lifting your chest up. Um, both 
Mati and Francois, you can bring the standing knee a little bit more forward or shift your weight more back. Yes. Okay, and now we do the other variation where we cross the leg. So we cross to the other side, lift and circle and tap. Yes, and here the standing leg. So when we lift, we try to not go side to side here on the standing leg. You really stabilize that leg. So we go cross and to the side. Well, there is no no space here. Yes. Good. Push yourself away from the floor, the back of the neck lifting for the last one. And then bend your knee. And sit back on your heels again, stretching here. Taking two deep breaths. up sitting on your heels so we are stretching here a little bit the back of the feet if it's too much you can lean slightly forward if it's not enough you can lean back but let's try to stay here two minutes or one minute we interlace the fingers and circle the hands around the hand joints in opposite direction You take the back of the hands together and lower the elbows and lift the elbows and again lower the elbows and lift. So you feel the stretch here, good, and we interlace the fingers, turn the palms facing up and from here we go on the knees, so stretch yourself up, push up, 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 up and then you tilt the pelvis around the spine and push forward so you you have the weight a little bit more in the back so you can really round the whole spine so here you're stretching your shoulders and the whole back and then we lift again push the ceiling away from you and round from your pelvis tuck and round and push forward. At the same time, somebody pulls you back on your waistline. One more time, up. And forward. Okay. Hands on the ground. Tuck your toes under. We lift the pelvis up. Bending the knees. Everybody bend your knees and stretch the spine as much as you can. Ears are over the arms. So, yeah, Francois, don't lower the head too much. Try to lift the back of the neck. Yes, there. Good, and bend your knees more. Bend your knees more and stretch the spine more. So sending the sitting bones up, everybody. Good. We hold it for three, two, one. We walk with the hands towards the feet. Put the weight on your feet, relax the head and the arms, and roll up, standing roll up, all the way up. We circle the arms forward, up, and to the sides. As the arms lower down, you bring the chin to the chest, and you roll down. Bending, softening the knees as much as you need. Inhale and we repeat. Exhale. Like like a wave. Think of your super elastic in your spine. Lifting the arms forward. Up. Stretch your spine, your arms. Lower the arms by your sides. And bring the chin to the chest to roll down. Keep going. Think of your whole spine, your whole body as an elastic band. Have this uh, 
of fluidity. Good. When you lift the arms up, stretch completely the whole spine, the whole joints, all the joints from your feet, knees, hips, every joint is stretching. Okay, one more time. And you're breathing fluently, relax face. Next time you're down, stay down, throw yourself down. You can grab your elbows. The knees are gently bent and here we can just swing side to side. Relax completely the head. Yeah, cut it careful with the head. If it's too much, you can roll already up and just do standing movements of the neck. But we can do like yes and no movement, like side to side and forward backward. Just shake it, be really loose. And then take your hands on the floor to help yourself. And we're opening the legs wider and bending the knees into a squat, into a deep squat. So, both hands together, pushing the knees apart. I want you to have your feet down, so if you need to, you have to be higher. It depends on your flexibility. So your heels are not lifted, heels are on the ground. And you can be here, you can be lower, depends on your flexibility with straight spine. Push both hands together and we're just shifting the weight side to side. I know you love me for this one. Everybody lift the pelvis a little bit higher and stretch more. Good. Stay in the center. Can we lift one heel up? Lower it down. The other heel up, lower it down. And we smile. Ready? Both heels up. Both heels down. Both heels up. Almost done. And one more. Balance here. Balance. Can you get up? Oh. Get up. Stretch your hands together over your head, lower the feet down. Sorry, I'm going to change a little bit my view. And we go to the side here, stretching. Center, the other side. Center, lower, both arms parallel to the floor. And twist, 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 center. Twist, twist, center, breathe out, out, breathe in, breathe out, out, in, one last time, this side, and one last time, the other side, and we take the hands again overhead, hands together, we go to the side flexion, hold it here, we breathe deeply in, and out, stretch the legs completely. A little bit wider the legs. A little bit and yeah. And here we do small poses. Side, 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 side. Center to the other side. Hold it and just breathe. There's no twist. Legs are completely straight. We are not bending or rounding. Good. Hold it and now small poses. Side, 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 side. Back up and lower your arms and just relax the head and lift it back up. Inhale. Exhale. Just the head lowering down so you can feel a small stretch on the back of the neck. And lift. Last one. Mm -hmm. 
lift and shake everything. Shake your legs, your arms, whatever feels good. You can go like quick running. And then again shake. And swing side to side. So after tensing all the muscles, it's important to let them relax again. So this shaking relaxing sessions are very good for us. And I thank you for joining. It's